Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another episode. Uh, I'm Cyrus. Today we're going to be, uh, I mean, I'm going to be uh, showing you guys how to uh, create just a basic bash file. Now I mentioned that in my previous video that I'd uh, do something cool and I'd show you guys uh, what bash files are. Uh, so bash files, first of all, let me get into my virtual machine. I'm running Ubuntu, by the way. Very good operating system. I love it. 100% a fan of Ubuntu. Um, I, I prefer other op I prefer other Linux distributions such as Kali Linux um, as well. But I mean, you know, Ubuntu is pretty cool too. So uh, as I was saying, bash files are for Linux primarily. Um, they're kind of like the batch files, B-A-T-C-H, of Windows, but for Linux. Now, I mentioned this previously, so I won't uh, get too in-depth into it. So, I created a username really quick, you know, off the bat, FL, password FL, you know, FL for flower. Um, so, here I actually, I actually have my virtual machine, and I have terminal, and uh, let's just maximize terminal. Actually, hold on, I gotta show you guys something. I have a, I have a bucket of memes on my virtual machine. It's pretty good. <laughs> um, also, I call folders buckets um, sometimes, so don't don't get confused when I say, uh, you know, go into your bucket folder or something like that. Um, you know, uh, I I don't know. See, it's just a little habit. So, um, anyway, let's create a batch file. So, straight off the bat, oh wait, no, sorry, bash file, B-A-S-H. So, straight off the bat, um, what we can do is we can do ls. Now, ls lists all the directories that are that's in your computer, uh, in my case, in my virtual machine. I'll be doing a video on virtual machines sometime in the future, but definitely not now. I don't want to expand um, because that would just it's just going to become a really long video. So uh, that's ls shows all the uh, directories. So I'm not going to make a program inside a directory. Uh, I'm just going to make this real quick and just make a random program. So what you do is you use vi editor. VI editor is kind of like Notepad, except it's like 40 years old. <laughs> VI editor is very basic. If you can't do VI editor, like it's it's okay because very few people can do can use VI editor flawlessly for large programs. So let's create a name. Uh, let's call it uh, Meme. You know why not? So vi meme, and it'll bring you to this. Now, what is this, you ask? It's kind of like a uh, notepad, as I said. Now, you'll see that if I try to type anything, nothing will show up. That's because I need to press the I key, which is in, which is like, you know, insert. So I'm going to press the insert key. Now I can type in whatever I want. So I can type in date, because I want to create a simple program that will find the date for me. Now something interesting that you'll find is that with VI Editor you can't really do backspace. See? When you do backspace you just end up going back by one uh, letter. And you can't do uh, you can't like do your arrow keys because that, that's weird. You see this? This isn't me typing in A, D, B, and C and stuff on my keyboard. It's me, um, it's me and my, uh, uh, what do you call it? Arrow keys. Uh, so it's, it's a pretty, it's a pretty weird, uh, thing. So the only way to escape is to press escape, and then you can do dd, which will delete a line, or d, which will delete a word. But we're just going to delete lines for now, because, you know, we have to delete everything at this point. Then we press insert again and we can type. So you gotta know that when you're using VI editor that it's pretty dangerous. 
Uh, you can goof up a lot, and if you don't know what you're doing, you should probably learn what you're doing before you you do what you want to do. <laughs> so I'm gonna type in date, press enter. That's okay, you know. Enter doesn't do anything weird. I can type in date again and date again. So I have three dates. Okay. Now I can press escape. Now this is a very important step. Um, remember to save your VI text. So you want to do Shift ZZ. When you do Shift ZZ, it exits and it saves everything. If you want to exit out of a BI editor um, document without saving anything, like if you went if you went to edit something and then you realize that your edit was wrong, but you don't know where you edited, or like you lost track or something, and you just want to be on the safe side, right? Uh, you can just do colon Q. Uh, exclamation mark I think something like uh, like this and that will just force quit and <clears throat> sorry uh, that will just force quit from the I editor <coughs> oh man I need to drink some water but uh, I'll drink some water after the video <laughs> okay so now you have VI meme now meme is just a text so you can do ls and you'll find meme over here but it's not green and we need it to be green all right we like the color green so what we do is we do schmod schmod basically makes something executable so our program meme right now is like it's it's uh it's dormant it's not active you can't you can't just type in like run meme and and the the meme will run you know, uh, you gotta first make it an executable command, and it's not an exe. Remember, okay, it's not an exe. This is not Windows. It's something else, uh, but it's still executable. Um, okay, so schmod, and then you do seven seven seven, which makes it an executable at the highest priority. And uh, this is also like generally what you would use when you want to do a schmod. I mean, this is better than every other type of schmod. So you can do schmod777 meme to ls, and you can see now that meme is actually green, and that's good because we like green memes, am I right, guys? <laughs> Alright, so um, so after we did that, uh, we can actually just type in meme, and something happens there. Hold on, let me just, let me just experiment around here. There we go. <laughs> I always make that mistake. Um dot slash uh dot slash program name that is the format <laughs> don't be stupid like me and uh just type in the name of the program you gotta do dot slash and you can see here that we now have three separate dates if i were to add more dates then obviously the seconds would change but my computer is so fast and advanced that it did all these three computations um in less than a second which is pretty impressive, but at the same time, expect it from my computer because my computer's, you know, pretty fast. And especially this virtual machine is, uh, it's, it's, it's a decent virtual machine. It has, it has quite some power. Um, okay. So that's basically how you create a basic, um, bash file. B-A-S-H. Remember, <laughs> um, uh, go ahead and like, subscribe, uh, comment down below if uh, you have any questions. Uh, if you want, you can go ahead and send me your own bash files. Uh, that would be pretty interesting to see. Um, but uh, he here's a little uh, here's a little regulation for you guys out there. Um, I won't uh, I won't test any bash files unless they're named me. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> make sure to. Uh, name them meme <laughs> um but uh yeah seriously all jokes aside though thank you guys for watching my second video my third video will come out soon um maybe even like after this like may maybe tonight i don't know <laughs> maybe tomorrow maybe tonight but uh, i'm gonna be uploading very frequently because i have a lot of stuff to upload and share with you guys anyway thank you guys so much for watching um, it just, it kind of, it really means a lot to me, and I'm gonna do the epic default intro, I mean the outro, of actually clicking on my recorder and pressing stop, because 
Um, my, my hotkeys won't work when I'm locked inside of the app. Thank you guys for watching so much. And uh, until then, until next time, um, see you guys. Bye.